Hello guys, welcome to Ken Quest. Okay, so today we will be reading on this the Hindu newspaper. I am just reading for my UPSC preparation, so it may be helpful for someone as well because I am doing this live. Okay, so we can skim through the headlines. So all these are not very important, but we can see the headlines. So when we read the Hindu, first of all, take the syllabus and the previous year questions so you can easily understand which all are important, which are not. So there is a landslip occurred in Maharashtra. As 60 killed as rain pounds it's not very relevant but we need to know that there is a rise in extreme rainfall events that is happening and it happened in Maharashtra so this NDRF this teams are working over there okay so that is happening the next is um, there is a drone attack uh, that happened in Jammu. So what is drone? It is an unmanned aerial vehicle and then IED, improvised explosive device. So these are for films perspective we can use. And then then Supreme Court upheld Paul's NGT ban on firecrackers. So, there is an essay related issue that is um, what is NGT, National Green Tribunal. We need to search upon that. Um, there is banned use of firecrackers during COVID 19 in Delhi. So, it's the Delhi edition news. So, it's not very relevant. And Delhi High Court shift of LGBT couple to safe house and provide security okay it's also uh, not very relevant and there is a NGO related to their rehabilitation which NGO Na Shakti Vahini so they filed a petition against owner killings so by that this um, high court said safe houses for such couple Okay, just read about it and then we know the Olympics is going on and it's political news, not very. So this NGT, ban on sale and use of firecrackers. There are ill effects of firecrackers. And it's also against the right to life by Article 21. So that is also there because ambient poor quality air so that is article 25 this is right to religion <clears throat> and then article 21 right to life so after uh, article 21 is more important right and right of the manufacturers and traders article 91G of the constitution. That right is there, but there should be a balance between both of them. It must be following letter and spirit. Coming to other news, um, let me is there any other important news? Let's go to editorial. So not very important. 
ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി അഹമ്മദാബാദ് മുൻസിപ്പൽ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ കണ്ടക്ടിംഗ് ദ പീരിയോഡിക് സീറോ സർവൈലൻസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് സീറോ സർവൈലൻസ് sorry for the disturbances as you know there is a mosque nearby my house so it is very distracting sorry okay so this uh, editorial is uh, important as per our syllabus is concerned the zero survey template to which ahmedabad municipal corporation and what they did this herd immunities we are conducting the zero surveillance it is time to use the efforts of ahmedabad city as a case study we can use this as a case study to revisit the discussion on the threshold of for herd immunity the national level nie uh, of the icmr conducted four rounds of zero survey csir2 conducted zero what is zero survey we need to, so it's more about herd immunity than the idea of zero survey padan okay and okay zero surveillance from cities show the percentage it's a percentage of the population infected with the virus and has antibodies in a specific period of time so we are taking a census like thing okay taking the survey of infected people of local geography phenomena and where in population or the herd this means they are mixing with each other for example in gujarat two nearby cities ahmedabad and baroda behaves as two separate communities or herds as there is no much uh, there is not much travel and intermixing between the people um, okay and very different 80 percentage in one 20 percentage in another and then the immunity levels are different and some zero surveys which combine smaller numbers okay that is high degree of vulnerability disease will spread equally both cities it is it is not completely true as one city will have a lower burden um, other surveys a nationally representative sample of zero surveys useful to provide birds eye view of the city so just google about this zero surveys and then herd immunity both of these are important and this ahmedabad corporation is doing well regarding this it's about then
increased antibody levels. You can also see an analysis video or something of this because this is very technical editorial, right? Scientific one. So you can use that time for that. That's better, I think. And major outbreaks in specific geographical region, that is UK, Israel and others. Uh, in each city, in each state, each country, it's different. So this is a good case study for to review and plan country specific, uh, city specific actions. So they also experience second bad wave. So it helps in policy making. So that is there. Helps in policy making. Mm. The, the most important is intro and conclusion. So we can focus on that also. This uh, wider and faster vaccination coverage is very, very essential. Wider and faster coverage. Then distribution of vaccines. And based on zero surveillance studies, evidence-based approach. This will help deploy scarce vaccine resources. What its price? So this is not a major cost. There is one problem. Cities do not have mechanisms to use evidence generation and analysis expertise. So in summary, so this is the summary of this whole art editorial which I feel is summarized here. So you can note it down. Every major city with a population of more than 10 lakh should do a rapid zero surveillance survey um, and set up um, sentinel surveillance um, to confirm the protection levels. It's time, therefore, will help understand mitigate the urgent need to take up zero surveillance study. So, other parts also should take this guide throughout rural and urban India. So that is a summary. Coming to this biocentric jurisprudence, what is it? In your Supreme Court, anthropocentric basis of law. More than that, we need to. That is, it's more about environment, okay? Environment in GS2, GS2, GS3. Okay. So, the Great Indian Bustard, it's about. This species is very important, it's gravely endangered species with hardly about 200 alive in India today. The protective wings of this bring out of recent M.K. Ranjit Shvathas versus Union of India. Because there are so many power projects in Rajasthan, Gujarat and they are installing this bird diver, that's okay, pending and it is uh, regarding conversion of overhead cables into underground power lines because this will hit the birds, especially this bustard. So it's better uh, underground. Overhead power again threat to the life of these species. Frequently tend to <laughs> collide with these power lines and get killed. And this is also an endangered species, right? Really endangered the great Indian bustard. So just read about this bustard. So that is important. So recent Supreme Court word set. Move away from this anthropocentric basis of law. Now it's time for biocentric jurisprudence. So that word is very interesting. While noting down, you can use this keywords. That is can also use for write, while writing answers and the Ministry of Power this is GIB that is a short form Great Indian Lacks Frontal Vision okay due to this they cannot detect power lines ahead of them from far they are heavy birds unable to maneuver across power lines within close distance thus they are vulnerable to collide, collision so they will collide with this power lines okay and uh, protecting the birds 
so there should be biocentric values of eco preservation the philosophy of biocentrism involves that natural environment has its own set of rights which is independent of its ability to be exploited by or so biocentrism biocentric jurisprudence so that's what supreme court has said hmm, regarding this um, it always conflict with the contrarian philosophy that is anthropocentrism what is anthropocentrism that is all the species on earth humans are the most significant and they are the center hmm? the resources on earth may be justified exploited for the benefit of human beings expressions of such line of thought date back many centuries and find uh, mention in politics so we can see it in aristotle's politics and he is also known as the father of political science as well as biology hmm? that is a moral and also uh, immanuel kant he is a moral philosopher okay so they have so they talked about this and anthropocentrism that is human beings are the most significant creatures so they can exploit others fine man is social and political animal right that like that by snail data case what is that application of anthropocentrism the legal word is that snail data case in the us okay it happened in us where the species of fish snail data contended that the snail data was an endangered species and that is uh, its existence would be gravely threatened by the continuous development works built into teleco the survey projects following this revolution lawsuit teleco survey project so all these power lines power projects are against this environment ecology so this is a reference supreme court used snail data okay and that is also a protected species the national environment policy act in us okay supreme court delivered its verdict and congress enacted a law that is retro uh, retrospectively which is it so the fish suffered so they what they did is uh, they went on with this project that got happen and the fish suffered so the species is in danger and humans share the world with countless other species and most in nearly extinction and 15 there were this much lines african now hardly 20000 monoculture farm in bori borneo sumatra and that is leading to the extinction of home orangutan so this is very good article i feel is can be is for environment rhinos are hundred for the so called medicinal value of their homes and are slowly becoming extinct so in madagascar is also lemus that is a primate also become extinct so this iucn list this much species as in danger and that is still going on so green shoots what can be done so this constitution of india it is applicable eco conservation laws are very significant and remains within that territory and its predominant aim was to give them rights to impose obligations and to regulate human affairs and constitution is significantly silent on any explicitly stated binding legal obligations we of to our fellow species and to environment that sustains us so what is happening is um article 21 right to life and there is sustainable development principles we can see in dpsp 
fundamental duties and there is right of nature laws such legislation should come from an andro basis of two a biocentric jurisprudence is necessary so ecuador yes, so became the first country okay rights of nature is included in our constitution in their constitution in bolivia start a movement and pennsylvania become pittsburgh pennsylvania major municipality in us rights of nature local communities so i'm ranjit singh okay biocentric principles of coexistence Shot in the arm for natural convention, conservation and one does hope that respective governments implement the judgments in the court and fate of the gradient bustard should not be like the snail darter. So that is the crux. So it should be biocentric jurisprudence. Okay. Biocentric jurisprudence regarding this great Indian buster then there is other two articles here in uh, microplastics in your GS3 the Ganga's message and kids just to see this loss on haste to stop microplastic pollution. Okay. Became conveyed sewage, solid waste, industrial effluents, and other pollutants. And this is very depressing that new study by an NGO has found that in terms of a modern day scourge, microplastics, high concentration. then always a part of what are microplastics um, tire clothing then this is very small invisible to the naked eye below 300 micrometers to 5 millimeters so these are found in where in Ganga there is clean Ganga program but still um, Namami Ganga Swiss Bharat and surprisingly what is happening scheduled implemented by 2020 but still there are so many deficiencies right Gurudas Agrawal he protested and died and microplastics mm. Mount Everest, not only in Ganga, Mount Everest, Arctic snow, Icelandic glaciers, French Pyrenees, depth of Mariana trends. Okay, so here all we can see this. You can take down these points Mount Everest, Arctic, and what the government should do there is plastic waste management rules but that also failed single use plastics waste segregation recycling labels then extended produce response epr recovery therefore you know, what we should do is um, Costly dumping contracts, but sharply reduced generation, food segregation, and so around the world is threatening the food web. Web. It is threatening the food web, and crisis demands a new global treaty, like Montreal Protocol and Paris Agreement regarding this plastic. So there should be international cooperation, convention protocols on this, and India needs to demonstrate. That is serious about a cleanup at home. It's very, very essential. Microplastics. 
So this article is also important. Then zero survey we said. Okay. Then this one. Brexit. This is more on IR. Brexit happened and it is never going to be easy. There is a Good Friday agreement. What is that? So if you are interested, you can read this. Now I am not much interested, so I am leaving this thing. We can catch it up. Then we can skip this. This one is also political news. That also we can skip. This is extension of that drone. Okay. Then this farmers protest. You should know about those farm laws. Another aspect. So there will be a continuation of the same news which we will be covering in the next as well. So that is an ongoing process. Okay. Skip the news, we can check it out. We skip any. Minister quits over farm bills. Okay, they are going to Janda Mandar. And yeah, this news that we already discussed what happened in Maharashtra, right? So there is a map as well, which we can look into. Is an extreme rainfall. Events in southern peninsula receives more 29 percentage more rain than normal. And there is a big deficit in northeast. That's what happening and the evil of monsoon. Okay, I will have one soon, um, it is for geography, so what is happening in this southern states, it's fine, but in north, that is red, it is red, deficient in northeast and then in western parts, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Manipur, Fine here. Normal in northern parts. And there is excess also. Excess in southern regions. Okay. You can just read this and if you don't, and then you can focus on the monthly or the daily news analysis for the more. Updates. That is um, the ongoing monsoon floods across India is unprecedented, but not unexpected. We already see there is a threshold rise in the widespread through the climate change as monsoon is rising. Then this army using jammers to protect forward bases from drone attacks. What is jammer? That we can we can do it's regarding science and tech or defense, upgrading defense, internal security. Okay, that is a continuation of. The 
friends research foundation it can be asked for prudence as well what is jammer there is anti infiltration obstacle system so there will be infiltration in those regions and Link to the next U.S. Secretary of State to visit India next week. So there is what is agenda? Afghanistan, important quad, important vaccine, diplomacy. Okay, it's part of IR. So Anthony Blinken is coming to India, and it's not to visit the issues, bilateral issues, quad, informal summit. US, India, Japan, Australia to counter China and underscore so COVID-19 response, response then climate crisis the other, then Afghan crisis the Taliban attacks all that are going on so this is very strategic and very significant mm. That is MEA, Regional Global Issues of Mutual Interest. And also about COVID-19, recovery from COVID-19, then vaccines, Indo-Pacific region, Afghanistan, cooperation with the UN. So all these are issues. Okay. You can just read about this handy obstacle system, this technical aspect. We need to search further. Okay. So these are daily news, I think. Right. This is can be skipped. Guarding film reviews, food, philosophies, feminisms. Yeah, another important thing is she is visiting Tibet. It's so the first trip by leader in years. He landed in. Why? Because Tibet is very significant for India, China, US. Okay, and we have the border with so Xi Jinping just became first Chinese leader. So that is the significance. So he became the first Chinese leader. Because it is Tibet autonomous region, it is under China. First Tibetan exile government. Southeastern border region with strategically important railway line. There is a two a bullet train has also got opened and she arrived in Tibet on Wednesday and then this Yarlang Sangpo river you can locate all these places in map and Brahmaputra river power project that is um, second largest tributary near Nyang Brahmaputra originates in Tibet Sangpo And there is a railway station, Chuan Tibetan Railway. So first visit to TAR since taking over VPC. So this is 60th anniversary of CPC is going on. Okay. So a peaceful rise of China, a peaceful liberation of Tibet. That's what he says everywhere. But it's not peaceful, it's authoritarian, it's unapocratic. It's really against the political freedom of Tibet, as we can see. So this peaceful liberation of Tibet. And there is a 17-point agreement, that is history, signed in May 23, 1951. 
so that is 17 point Seventeen point agreement, and their spiritual temporal head is Dalai Lama, and so that is rejected by Dalai Lama. And they flee to India in nineteen fifty nine. Potala Palace. Tala Palace is the traditional home of Dalai Lama and called on monks they have to support so he needs to um, influence the Dalai Lama and then the next Dalai Lama Tibet is always China's ticket to age money okay support the leadership so these are the very good words maintain the unity of the motherland and support the leadership of the CPC, peaceful rise of Tibet development. Okay, so railway, bullet train, hydropower projects, and you know, everything is for the development of Tibetan Buddhism. Soft power is also using. And there is a sinicization, okay, of Tibetan Buddhism, patriotism, and hand settlements, and also and military ideology. PLA party's military ideology is also implementing strengthening its training okay and you can see there is a highway to the Grand Canyon of the Yarlang Sangbo River the second significant Passageway. And Tibetan Sichuan Tibet Railway to provincial capital. And it is a strategic project described by the Chinese leader as a major step in safeguarding national unity and get significant move. And second railway line on this one section of the new line Chempu. If a scenario of crisis happens at the border, the railway can act as fast track for the delivery of strategic materials. So that is the aim, the strategic purpose. And support advanced equipment technologies from the China, rest of China to Tibet. Okay. That is the aim. So this visit is very very important and increases the importance of Tibet as well. Then Taliban, Afghan problem it is also going on. Okay. So very Taliban claim of control, ninety percentage of borders lie to such of Kani says. Just read, it's not very because in the coming days you can see more news regarding this. Okay, and then US sanctions on Cuba. Are you there? These are not very important. And yeah, the spyware issues, Pakistan raises concern about Pegasus. Just read. Okay, and this Israel issue. There are sales in occupied territories is inconsistent. 
ഐസ് ക്രീംസ് ഹാർഡ്ലി പ്ലേ എ റോൾ ഇൻ ഇൻവെൻഷൻ സോ ഐസ് ക്രീം ബെൻ ആൻഡ് ജെറീസ് ഐസ് ക്രീം റൈറ്റ് പോയിക്കോട്ടിങ് സെറ്റിൽമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഒക്കുപ്പയഡ് ടെറിറ്ററീസ് ജെറൂസലേം ഓക്കെ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹാപ്പൻ യു യു എസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഐസ് ക്രീം ബ്രാൻഡ് ബെൻ ആൻഡ് ജെറീസ് ഡിസിഷൻ ടു സ്റ്റോപ്പ് സെല്ലിങ് ഇറ്റ്സ് പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് ടു ജൂയിഷ് സെറ്റിൽമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഇസ്രായേലി ഒക്കുപ്പൈഡ് പാലസ്റ്റീനിയൻ ടെറിറ്ററീസ് ഓഫ് ഈസ്റ്റ് ജെറൂസലേം ആൻഡ് വെസ്റ്റ് ബാങ്ക് സ്റ്റുഗഡ് ആൻഡ് അപ്രോർ ഇൻ ഇസ്രായേൽ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് കമ്പനി which has taken the battle against the brand uh, to its parent that is american brand and what is naftali bennett won this unilever its parent company because due to this jewish issue i think um, values over profit is ben and jerry's uh, taking a progressive course black lives matter they supported this cause and now this palestinian issue um, occupied palestine because under the israel israel occupied these territories it is against their values so they banned the product selling their product in those areas feast this is a history uh, west bank and east jerusalem in 1960s and war settlements and currently there are about 140 Israeli settlements. So this company is Ben & Jerry's. It's an ice cream company. Okay. So the challenge faces is that it sticks to the decision. Soldati, they have the soldati with the Palestinians. A successful president for such okay, BDS movement. What is BDS movement? so corporate but pds means boycott this divestment and sanctions movement okay that is campaigning for you know measures to put pressure on israel to change its policies by economically how we can yeah uh, change the policies regarding settlement and occupation mm-hmm. so that's what this ben and jerry ice cream company is doing there Okay, there is hashtag BDS. By good divestment and sanction. So, Palestine sold out to campaign. Based in UK. Boycotting Israel goods. So, they are also welcomed. This Ben and Jerry's. Okay. It's trending. But in US, this lobby is very strong. Jewish lobby, copy, anti-Semitic practices, okay, so that's how an ice cream company is, international conflicts, now this business page, there is not much in this case, okay, sports page we can upholds cci probe against flipkart and amazons and then tax revenue may surpass target ikra what is that then spring word rejects telecos plea on agr what is agr adjusted gross revenue adjusted gross revenue due before the department of telecommunications arithmetic errors AGR It's not very relevant but we can see the term but you need to correct mistakes in the calculations but the court is not uh, said not just once but twice and thrice that the amounts cannot be recomputed 
virtual dataset AGR. Then tax revenues. What is ICRA? May surpass target. It'll allow room to cut fewer taxes. So it's part of revenue receipt. The government's gross tax surpassed the budget target. The high taxes on fuels. It's a credit rating agency, okay. GST compensation, small technical thing. You have the static part is clear then. Monetary policy, normalization to be postponed. So I'm not very much interested in this news. If you are interested, you can read, okay. I am not um, discouraging you. Then I quote a poll CCI probe. Flipkart Amazon. CCI means what is CCI? Competition Commission of India. So it is Flipkart Amazon e commerce giants, right? So this anti-competition agreement. So they violated this Competition Act 2002. Cannot be crushed at the initial stage. If both the companies were not involved in violation, feel shy in facing inquiry. Okay. So that is fine. So they are facing this inquiry right now. So that's it. We have quite completed this. We should be proud. I think we started when? By 7.30. Now it's 7.30. Now it's more than one hour. Now it's 9, right? Now it's 7.30. Almost one hour, right? So now we can make a quick recap, recap what all we things. So read those editorial. Editorial is important. Editorial part. Then this NCR. If we skipped any thing they said about this Maharashtra rainfall, drone, biocentric jurisprudence. Then jammers. Okay. Right to life. No more crackers. Dismisses plea challenging. So right to life is more important than Article 19 1G. Very important. And then first page you can see there is a secrecy, something like that. We almost covered the news, I think, yeah. So, that's it for today. Okay. If you have any doubts or anything which you want to tell me, I can see your comments. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Fine. Thank you.